So we have a gravity form embedded into a post here, and this is the gravity form area here. And what we're gonna do today is look at styling the body area of the gravity forms, which is this section here. So below it, we have the submit area, and above it, we have the heading area, which has a title and a description. But this area here is the body, and that's what we're gonna look at targeting now. So what we have to do is you have to go into your WordPress dashboard and go appearance, editor and we open up our CSS style sheet or style CSS and if it's not open by default it'll be in this list down here so in this case it's here so we just go right down to the bottom of our style sheet and now we'll enter some custom code to target this body area of the gravity form so what we need to do is we need to type body hash G form underscore wrapper. And I'll just say now, we're targeting an individual gravity form and our form has an ID number four. Yours will be different depending on how many gravity forms you have set up, but ours has an ID of four. So we're gonna put underscore four now to target this. But if you wanted to apply the same styling of this body area of every single gravity form you do on your website, you can just use a global styling and you remove the ID part and instead of this hash you put a dot but we're not we're targeting an individual form we're targeting the form the ID of number four okay and then we need to go dot g form underscore body and that's saying we're targeting the body area so we have an open and close curly brackets where we're going to put our CSS styling so what we can do is, as an example, we can put a border around this body area and we'll say we want it to be a dashed blue line of three pixels. So I'll type border to see we want a border. We'll see three pixels, we have a dashed line and we can make it blue. I'm not sure you'd want to ever do this, but this is an example. We'll update our form, then we'll refresh our page and you'll see now we have this dashed line around the body area. So we'll just do some more quick styling. We'll push this. We have a single line text field in this form. So we'll push this to the side by adding padding to the left on this body area. And that'll push this single line text field to the right. So let's go back to our styling and we'll write padding left. So you want the padding left and we'll say 50 pixels it's quite a lot of padding left so we'll update the form again update our style sheet again and we'll refresh post and there we go we've got our padding to the left now which puts us across okay so that's um, just a quick tutorial showing you how to style and format the body section of a gravity form Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel so you get updates as soon as I've got new videos ready for you. And also head over to my website which is www.neilcurtis.me where I have lots more guides and tutorials about gravity forms and WordPress and other web design things.